Unreal world. Hi! Hi! I'm so glad it's in America. Hi, Finally. Hey, Adam. I'm Adam. Adam. Nice to meet you, CT. Christina, nice to meet you. As Christina walks through the door, I, I just think she's on fire. This place is fantastic. She's got a body. Oh, my God. Christopher, he's a total gentleman. He is always willing to step out and say, what can I help you with? You throw yourself at him, and you don't have an iceberg's chance in hell with a... This is the true story. Seven, seven, of seven strangers. Picks to live in France. In a chateau. Work together and have their lives changed. Say nothing. Find out what happened. When people stop being played. Bring it on, dog. Stop being real. The, the real, real world. Paris. deal with anyone like like Adam. I have before and I've just always cut people like that out of my life. So Adam There's sexual tension between Christina and Chris because I think she's a little more into his body. CT has a really nice body. Probably the hottest guy in the house. than Arnold Schwarzenegger any day. The bigger, the better, right, though? No, not necessarily. It depends on what you're talking about, well, also. I would rather have 10 minutes of, like, complete undivided attention rather than 10 minutes of, I worked out really hard today, baby, can you see it? You gotta get in on this. Okay. A minus 10 pounds to get the listening that you need and the brain act, like, the this brain stimulus, the then, game, then, yeah. then fine. All you guys care about is what? Is what? Is what? It's freaking the That's all uh, you guys care about. <laughs> I think Tina's a lot wilder than she claims to be. I honestly don't think that she's going to be able to sleep in that bed alone for four and a half months. Yeah. Someone who makes you breakfast every morning the way you like your eggs. Yeah. That is love. Someone who knows how you like your eggs every morning and doesn't like their eggs that way, but will cook their eggs the way you like your eggs. You are not going to break up with your guy with your <laughs> If you know how to make my eggs in the morning, I'm sure you know how to do everything else. Hello? Hey. What are you doing tonight? What time is it there? Just kind of hanging out. Um, What's up with your roommates? You, you like any of them or what? Yeah, I get along with them all. What about the females? Are you looking at one, two? Uh, I, I think I think one of them is kind of digging me. She's from Vegas. She's got the dark hair, you know. She's, she's the, a she, I'm like, She's got the frame that I like. Do I think I'd have a shot at her if I wanted to? I mean, I'm a confident person, you know what I mean? I think if I was sincere, you know, who wouldn't like me, right? We were talking about, um... Sex and commitment, and we talk about like, it's more about how a guy treats you. Like, you know, he makes me an egg sandwich in the morning. You're not gonna dump some guy who's going to bed because he can make you an egg sandwich. I was like, if you face off, you're not gonna pass it up for an egg muffin. I'm sorry. And then one of the girls in the back were like, <gasps> Sandwich. Sandwich poulet. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. avec de frites. Sandwich poulet. And I'll um, just can I get it plain, plain with cheese. Coke to drink. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. I don't really think anyone's making too much of an effort to try and speak the language, which I see as being slightly ignorant and a bit rude as well. You're a foreign country. You don't speak a lick of the language. I should make it as easy as possible. And Plain with cheese? Is that crazy? It's a 
a sandwich. This is the hardest sandwich I've ever had in my life. Break my teeth. I'm gonna have to go see a dentist every time I eat at lunch. I miss American food so much, it's killing me. I miss Walmart. I miss Waffle House. Is it four dollar Coke? It was $4. How do you say unhappy camper in French? I want to go home. No, I, just, I just hate it here. <laughs> I hate everything. Aww. I hate French people. I hate French language. <laughs> I don't like these little cars. I like big SUVs. I think Ace is hilarious. Uh, he makes me laugh, and Weather. that's very sexy. And I hate you. And you know, <laughs> I hate everyone. you. I'm going to go Thank you, man. Going into Paris, we don't know exactly where we're going. We just know that, you know, we're going to Paris. I don't know what to wear. Let me show you. Let me pick something off for you. Can I pick it off? Tina needs a lot of attention. You can tell just by the way she acts, by the way she dresses. So I'll give her a little more attention. Not a problem. Do you want to look at your girl tonight or bad girl? You like bad girl, huh? Don't need a reason to do the things that I do. No need to impress you. Just wanna undress you. I really love your shoes. Physically, I'm, I'm totally attracted to TT. You look fantastic, Tina. It's just hot, you know? Flirting's fun. I, I feel like I'm always flirting with her for some reason. I'm ready to go, you know what I mean? I gotta take my shirt and I'm ready to go. All right, I'm gonna help me out. What's this? Just help me out. I'm not really a big drinker. I'm trying to hang with Ace, but man, that kid can drink. I mean, he does that for a living. Who else is a straight bar guy? Give me some more. I need another shot, bro. I'm gonna make a note. That's uh, after CT acting crazy is, is 100% my fault. I'm the one that's made him start drinking at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Just take a shot of straight vodka? So what? Why? Oh my God. Shot of vodka? Oh, Let's get out of here. We're going to train station, girl. Let me get later. Okay. You're scared me tonight. I don't think I'm going to drink. Because I'm already drunk. Because <laughs> 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 I'm already drunk. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Where are my players at? Okay. How we do? You guys better keep an eye on me. I'm not used to drinking, though. I'm such a lightweight. Sit down. It's starting to be five hours. I'm beginning to realize that he, uh, he might be a, a little drunker than he should be. I've never been this drunk in my life. You got it together, right? All right. I'm trying to keep CT okay. as reasonable as possible. Adam, 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 Adam take the yeah. other side. Yeah. I can't take yeah. the other side. CT is either really, really funny, or, but then he starts getting really, really obnoxious. There's no taking care of someone who's twice your size. So I think Adam finally realizes that he can't do anything about it. How about we'll go on? How do you feel about going home? I'm down with you. Why are you worried about him? He'll be fine. If you just get him home, put him in the car. Then let's go. Right now, bro. I can't do that. Let's just go. Let me get saucy. You know what? I don't like the city. I don't like traffic. Man, I'm just home. Hey, French. Hey, we'll be all. We'll be okay. Tina tried to take care of me. I thought she did a good job. I feel like Why? So I acted last night. All is forgiven. It's all good. I think everybody should be taken care of. And just take care of people like you would want to be taken care of. I'm sure you forgive me. Everybody in France right now hates me. Where are we going? Hold on, hold on! 
Dear roommates, my name is Bryce and I am the publishing director for Farmer's Travel Guides. We're hiring each of you to write and research the first title in a new travel guide series planned for a winter 2004 publication date. <laughs> to assist you in your work, a weekly French lesson has been arranged for you at the Alliance Francaise in Paris. We're going to learn French. Yay! We're probably going to get to travel to different places in France and then write about it. I'm not really very excited about the job, and I'm not really thinking I'm going to be very, do a very good job at it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's all sunshine, or it's all rain. Today is our first day of work, and we're going to meet our boss from Farmers. This is our work. Well, this is actually my first job, so it's a real big deal. Going from never working to having such an important job is kind of scary. My name is Bryce. I'm the publishing director for Farmers. My role is I'm basically your boss. Um, you'll report to me. In a nutshell, Fromers is actually looking at creating a new guidebook geared specifically towards a student age crowd. And you guys are gonna help us launch that. Is you're gonna find the coolest bars in Paris and you're gonna go there. You're gonna find the best clubs and you're gonna try to get in and then you're gonna write about it. I'm overexcited about the job experience and going out and having this opportunity. I think the job is cool. I'm thrilled at the fact that it's gonna be published. This is David. He is the writer of our unofficial guide to Paris book, but David's gonna be your day-to-day -day person. He's there as a consultant. I came to Paris uh, pretty much the same, uh, at the same age that uh, you all have. The language is essential. One of the reasons why Americans sometimes say, God, what an unfriendly place, you know? So everything is in is understanding the smallest nuances of the culture. That's really how I approach writing guidebooks, because once you understand that, and you figure that out, then you're miles and miles ahead, you know. Um, you've been in Paris, what, about a week now? Mm -hmm. Is that about right? Um, tell me what you think so far. We're going to start with you. My name's Ace, and I am from South Georgia. I'm, I'm an American, true and true. I love America. I want to see the Eiffel Tower, but I'm not really too awful crazy about it, you know? Okay. Are you interested in what uh, Parisians think about Americans? I really don't like Parisians so far, honestly. <laughs> I'm just really used to my American culture that I just love more than anything in the world. So yeah. I think I'm out of my element more than anybody in this room. I mean, they're all from huge cities. I'm from sure. a little bit of town. It, it, that's, that's pretty interesting because it's often uh, Americans that have a hard time in Paris are often Americans who uh, have a hard time, have a hard time in you know, New York or L.A. But so far, it, it's not a very good experience for me so far. You hear someone say, I'm American. It's the culture I love best, and that's the only culture in the really that matters. And I don't really like, so far, like Parisians. Already puts the other person on, on defense. And it's um, and that's yeah. unfortunate because it's not their fault. I um, don't know anything about the culture. Maybe that's what I hate. And I'm just trying to blame it on Paris for my own stupidity. I'm really excited. I'm just, just uh, I cannot get over how, how absolutely perfect this is. Also, American food, bro. I'll tell you what, I'm only going to try to apologize to Leo once. My aggression, my anger, my frustration was all building up, and she just happened to get in the way of it. It wasn't my place to tell her that she's not going to hook up with Ace. It didn't quite come out right what you wanted to say, and then she didn't quite take it right what you meant to say, and then just blew up. I think it'll be all right. I didn't notice really much tension at all today. Yeah, she got this new job now. She's excited about it. Well, she's excited good. about the job. It's been pretty cool. Maybe a little too much, but I mean. What if it doesn't? Oh, it's a good shot. You know, when I've been around, I, you know, I get a little happy. You know what I mean? I get a little smile on my face. I'm a little bit more calm. Do you know how I like my eggs cooked? I'm very particular about how I like my eggs. I like my eggs three egg whites, quarter egg yellow with Pam and a little salt and hot sauce. How many people do you think know? And I'll, I don't tell everybody about how I like my eggs. I feel like she's almost telling me to be the guy that makes her egg correctly. You know what I mean? I want you to make an egg for me right now, matter of fact. I want you to make an egg for me. Why should I make an egg for you? No, your egg, the way you like it. I don't think you're going to be able to get a quarter egg yolk out of three eggs. Quarter egg yolk? I'm going to do it. Are you watching? Are you uh -huh. paying attention? How long do you think it takes to be with a girl to figure out the way she likes her eggs? She doesn't do this for anyone else, because that's what she's telling me. She's giving me, like, a step-by-step -step manual to get to her heart, almost. Watch. 
Oh, that's definitely more. That's like half. That's no, almost that's half. That's at least 40% of the egg yolk. This isn't hard to make at all, right? But it's very attentive and it's very detailed. Who are you gonna pick? Guy's a great leg, cooks a good egg. Cooks, cooks a good egg. The other guy loves you just as much. Mm -hmm. Cooks a great egg. He's a great good egg. egg. And he's a good leg. The great egg. Oh, you, I don't believe you. Because he Because a great egg is hotter to find okay, than a great okay, leg. Okay, okay, taste this. Put egg. that egg down. Don't drop my egg, please, don't. <laughs> you know what I'm Five saying. You like to argue. But you know what, come in. What? Make it the egg. <laughs> That's attention to detail. See, the relationship between CT and I have, has grown and we've bonded. I've been practicing that egg, so just in case I have need to make it. Today is our first day French class, and I'm so excited to learn French. I can't wait. Really? Go to class. School is good. Off to school to tell dad that I'm not a fool. I took French for two years in high school, and I didn't learn anything, so I'm really not gung ho. Merci bien. Did you say merci bien? <laughs> merci bien. Isn't it merci beaucoup? You can say either one. Oh, you can. It's like the, it's like the cool, the cool, like the kids say it. Merci bien. It's like me going to an English class in America and y'all saying, um, hello, friend. <laughs> hello. But I'm like, what's up? That's what I'm learning. That's what I'm learning on the streets. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oui. Première chose. Bonjour. Natalie is our French professor, and I'm kind of happy that she doesn't speak any English because that's really going to try to get us to understand. Bonjour. No. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Oui, mieux. Ça va? Oui, ça va. Uh, quelle est votre nationalité? Je suis française. Qui commence? Uh, Comment vous appelez-vous? No. Comment? Comment vous appelez-vous? <laughs> Comment vous Comment vous Comment vous appelez-vous? <laughs> like a bunch of first graders learning French. I mean, it's just it's really hard, but we're learning. We're trying our best. Comment allez-vous? Je vais. Très bien. Très bien. Okay. Ça va? Merci. Et vous? Uh, merci bien. Ouais, bien, merci. Ça va, bien, c'est bien. Mais si tu préfères, merci bien, pas de problème. Oui. <rire> Fini. Alors, super. Alors, au revoir. Ok. Au revoir. It's fun. By me not knowing anything about this country that I'm living in, I'm just being ignorant right now. So I decided I'm just going to give it the best shot I can. I'm not going to complain anymore. This, this is a good learning experience for me. This is the first time I've been up to actually see a little bit of Paris, and it was just unbelievable. The city, it's really beautiful. I'm not going to say another single soldier negatively about France again because of. The Grand Arch. Did you go there? Did you go to the Grand Arch Law Defense? Do you remember now? Amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a yeah. Paris fan from now on. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything negative. I'm going to my French class every day, and I'll not say another negative thing about France because it, it was beautiful. I mean, I had, today I was like, you know what? I really oh, like this city. Oh, it's so yeah. good. Uh, as you chomp on McDonald's. <laughs> I haven't got quite used to the cuisine yet. <laughs> Call me Mr. Belvedere. That's a hell of a sword right there, bro. Yes, yes. Good job. Well, there's Tina. She's got a bathing suit on. Champagne. Christina knows what she has. It's not fair the way she can play with guys' minds. By the way, you look fantastic in that bikini. <laughs> there are 300 steps to my bed. And I've had too many bottles of wine. I like your tattoo, by the way. I'm seeing you check them out. Does it hurt right there? Yes, of course it hurt right there. We're on the jacuzzi hanging out. Christina and Chris are kind of hooking up. The wine, the wine, don't blame. The I'm looking at Chris. He's very fun and he's very silly and he's very cute. Tina 
Jacuzzi is out of control in the jacuzzi. I'm getting drunk. Okay. On the exterior, I think CT wants to present himself like I really don't care, but on the inside, I don't think he feels that way. Cuddle in. Huh? Cuddle in. You I'm inviting you. If I didn't live with Tina, I'd go for it. I'd close the deal, but I want to try to have a stronger relationship with someone than uh, just random sex. Mm -hmm. I can I can. Because love, 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 On the next real world. Mallory, to me, gets prettier every day. I think I'm falling in love with her. I really love Kate a lot, but I'm just getting weak. I'm just so upset with this whole process because you're exposing me. You have to make us proud, Mal. I told you you weren't strong enough. I know. Why are you so stupid? I'm so Why are you so stupid?